Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Mitch here. And as promised, here's a quick review on my Epiphone Les Paul Special, Special 1 with P90s that I got about a week ago. It was on sale for like uh, 159 I think it was. Normally two hundred dollars. This is it's 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 been around for a while. Actually, I had one back in two thousand sixteen. I think it was. I had a uh, one like this, but it it didn't have the P nineties. It had the humbuckers, and and they were, that was a good guitar. I just went up, you know, training it in for something different. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with uh, some dirt stuff, and what I, and I'll start off with a treble pickup, and then go to the both into the uh, to the neck. And get an idea how it sounds. I mean, I'm impressed. You know, I, I all I did was tune it up and played it, and the the everything's where where I like it to be. Actions where I like it. Um, the tuners are pretty good. Um, one of them's a little weird, and the strings. You know, like I do have to tune it up a, a good bit. I don't know if it's because it's the strings are still pretty new or what. Uh, but I'll eventually I'll change it out and. I'll oil up the, the the neck one here, but you know, for a cheap guitar, I mean, the quality is is really good. I mean, compared to you know, compared to what, what I got with the uh, mono price uh, Cali Classic, I mean, not 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 one problem with Fritz Sprout at all. It's like like butter, 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 butter. It's really smooth. And I guess they're jumbo frets. They seem pretty big to me. Um, I'm not into specs. If something feels good, I like it. Um, but okay, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mute the mic because I don't want the mic to interfere with my effects is coming through my doll, which is Reaper, and I'm using Helix Native, and I have a patch on there. Um, you know, just a, a nice gain distortion patch, whatever. Um, and I'll start out with that. But I have it going into Reaper, right? I mean, I have it coming from Reaper into OBS. I'm recording this in OBS. And I'm going to mute the mic because what will happen is the mic will pick up. Acoustically, it will pick up. And I don't want to inf interfere with my patch that I got, I got coming from Reaper. So, all right, I'm going to mute my mic and let's have a, li let's have a listen. Let's have a listen.
All right, I'm going to play some clean sounds. And again, I'm going to mute the mic so it doesn't interfere with my uh, if my patch is coming out of Reaper. And I actually, I just did like 20 minutes of recording, but I forgot to hit the record button. And I'm doing it again. So I'm muting my mic again and listen to these. It's a clean patch, but it, has some, it does have some reverb, some delay on it, but it sounds pretty good. All right, so let's listen to this. There you have it, boys. You got some dirt and some clean sounds. And I think for the money, it sounds very good. I'm, I'm very satisfied with it. So far, since December, I've got four four guitars. And I think I spent, spent a total of, I didn't add it up, four, probably less than $700 for four guitars since December. And they play decent. They all play good enough. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, I could play something, I could set something up in my Reaper, play some kind of song, you know, with, you know, my backing tracks in it, and I could play it with all different guitars, and I, I and play it back, I probably, you know, blind tested, I probably can tell which guitar I was using, or, you know, so, anyway, thanks for watching, and everybody have a good, a good week coming up, see ya!